Let's get this party started right. Let's get this party started quickly. Right? Let me first put out a disclaimer that the views expressed is not of what we call the Realities Temple on Earth Internet Ministry. Because we represent soul power. We do not talk about melanin. We do not talk about being an aboriginal or an African or these different uh, labels. We don't talk about black, the melanin. We don't talk about that. We also gravitate towards living people. We talk about soul power. And so most of you believe that it is a or have religious connotations or reference to religion. And it is the essence of life. In religious belief systems, there's a soul in this flesh. And when we die, and when it leaves the body, or the soul leaves the body, then this dies. It is the essence that makes us alive. It is our conscience. And you do not hear us talk about black or the African. We gravitate towards ourselves because we are alive. We are not grave robbers. We concentrate on the living. One of our forefathers, Dr. Neely Fuller Jr., the United Independent Compensatory Code System of Conduct. Now, the blackity black community, they might mention Dr. Neely Fuller Jr. now and then. But Dr. Fuller does not talk about the blackity black the melanin, the African. He says, understand what racism is as an oppressed people. And I've had this book for years and I really still haven't read the whole, this whole book by Dr. Fuller Jr. However, I've yet to hear him talk about how precious the blackity black is and the melanin in Africa and the aboriginal and all these things uh, the Hebrew Israeliteism, the black Muslimism, the Moorish science templeism. He does not mention none of these things. He talks about a people under racism and you have to understand what racism is if you want to defeat it, if you want to deal with it. You have to understand what it is. Apparently, uh, it, it seems as though we really don't understand what racism is. Now, what I just noticed from Dr. Neely Fuller Jr. is that he does talk about soul. He does not talk about the blackity black and the African and all this black power stuff. He does not talk about that, but he does mention soul. So, on, part, on page 315 of his book... He defines soul, the will, plus the ability to think, speak, and act to use truth in a manner as to produce justice and correctness. The will, plus the ability of a victim of racism to eliminate racism. And he also goes on with other definitions. He talks about soul art, uh, soul food, soul music, and and uh, etc. In his book, he does not talk about. And I've read this book. I probably go to almost any page. I don't. I don't see where he's talking about anything or makes any reference to um, the blackity black, uh, uh, the Africans, and uh, the Hebrews, and the 
uh, Moore Size Temple and uh, Christianity and, and all these things that we enjoy. But he does mention soul. So, this I want to make clear. This is not our logic. This is not our mindset. We're going to use the mindset of black power, the blackity black, pan African, black, you so black, hotel, black power type folks. Now, it's black and I'm beautiful. The original man is the Asiatic black man. This, the, the original man is the black man. So the original man has to be his skin, his whatever he is, he represents darkness. Black. And we're gonna we're using your logic, your understanding. Black is the dominant. Brown is, is the recessive. Now, in order to be pure, or the original man is the Asiatic black man, brown is the recessive in the black man. So in rare occasions, the brown gene will make its appearance. But the people are black but you will have brown or some other recessive that shows up now and then. And to my knowledge, if you got too light, the black people, the original black people, might view the white gene or the albino as a curse, as wickedness. That's how they did in the ancient past. The lighter was considered or seen as a curse. The original man is the black man. I'm using their logic, not ours. We're so brothers and sisters, we understand that we come in various uh, skin tones and we understand different uh, kinds of hair and physical features. And we understand the why. But you have those who want to be Africans. They want to be Aboriginal. They want to be all these other people. And in order to be these people, you have to be pure. So you're calling yourself the original black man. Which means the darkest of the man. Black. You cannot be. You cannot be. Or call yourself a black person and you're brown. The majority of these persons who call themselves black are actually brown or lighter skin color. That's not the original man. The original man is the black man. Anything lighter than black is recessive. Just like you call the white man or the Caucasian people. They are recessive. Brown, high yellow, anything less than the darkest you can get is recessive. That's not my teachings. That's y'all teaching. That's y'all viewpoint. So here you are wanting to be a black person and you're not. You're, well, black people come in various hues. No, black, brown is not a variation of black. Brown is, is recessive. When you go to the paint store and ask for black, they give you a variation of black. Black comes in different types of shades, but black is not brown. You're brown. 
you're not black. So the original African had to be black. The original African was not a recessive because brown is a recessive. Brown is not black. Brown is not original. It is the weak, the weak side of black. That's what it is. This is not my teachings. This is not my viewpoint. This is yours. So I think maybe we need to make a group of people who are really black. Not call themselves. We are black. And we do not allow brown, light-skinned blacks among us. And we only marry the black because we are the original. We look like the original people. We keep it dark. We are black. Now you think there's a problem with that. You don't want to hear that. This is your thinking. This is your teaching. Malcolm X. Mother. Who was a lighter skinned person. A possible biracial mulatto person. She wanted to bring the melanin back. So she chose. And hoped. To marry a dark skinned person so she can get bring the melanin bring the blackness back to her children how are you representing Africa how are you representing the black and you're marrying and you're breeding and making brown babies how is making brown babies bringing the original man back Bringing the black back. This is your mindset. This is your teaching. Not, not me. This, this y'all teaching. This, this is y'all foolishness. And so you stuck. Talk about African. Aboriginal and all this other stuff. None of y'all are pure. None of you are. You are recessives. You don't even look like the original people. And then we talk about we don't want to follow white people and y'all make mockery of white Jesus. But when you look at all these different organizations and when you look at the people that's talking all this blackity black stuff, they are the lighter skin. They are the brown skin. Where is the dark skinned people like myself? Like Rashida Strober. The, the darker. Is still following. The light. You have these lighter skin. Brown. Black people. Who are. The leaders. And they are the ones. And the darker skin. Is still following. Still bowing down to. Still have to serve up under. The lighter. The only thing we are doing. Is going from one slave plantation. To another slave plantation. That's all y'all done. And you're fussing and fighting. Over skin color. And a North America versus Africa and all this nonsense. And you are none of these things. Unless you can prove that you're black and you're not black. You're brown. And there's a reason why you're brown. There's a reason why you're light skinned. You don't want to talk about that. You ignore certain facts. We don't have to worry about that. Don't go through all that nonsense here. Spending hours. I'm an African. No, I'm a, I'm a Native American. We don't have to do that here. I understand and we understand exactly what happened to us and who we are. But if you want to 
jump on that type of bandwagon, then you have to be pure. And none of you are pure. Even your DNA test, these bogus entertainment only African DNA tests tell you that you are not pure. The original man, chances are, don't even exist no more. I heard that the Twa people or the Pygmy people is a version of the original people. And y'all don't y'all don't claim them. Y'all don't talk about the Pygmy people. And there's another primitive tribe. Y'all don't talk about them because they didn't create pyramids and do all this great stuff that y'all like to talk about. But they would be considered the original people. You don't talk about them. And you don't want to look like them either. You have this delusional fantasy look of what the original man is supposed to look like. But even so, just based on skin color, you're not black, you're brown. High yellow, light skin. So I think, really, maybe I should start a group, nothing but the original. You got to be black. No brown, no light skin. We the real deal. We're the original people. I'm black and I'm proud. Not brown and I'm proud. I'm black and I'm proud. We got the melanin. You don't have you talking all this stuff about the melanin? You don't even have none. You're brown, you're light skinned. You don't get any melanin until you get old and those brown bags get up under your eyes. The whole thing sounds silly and stupid. And the reason why we talk like this is because we don't understand racism and we don't understand how it works. That's the reason. You're caught up in fantasy, la la land. You can't accept the reality of things. Grave robbers follow dead people. Obsessed with skin color. Well, if that's the case, you're you're not you're not black. You're brown and light skinned. And if you're black, if you're dark skinned, and you think this way, why are you following? You're not following original people. You're following light skinned, light, damn near white type people, claiming to be black. They're not black. According to their skin color and to the melanin. So why are you listening to them? Why are you following them? They're not original. They don't look original. You claim in Africa, you don't look original. You brown. The original Africans, the original people of Africa had to be black. You're not black. Of course, they, you're not going to like what I'm saying. But I'm using your logic. Because you caught up. You caught up in racism. You don't understand it. And since you don't understand it, you can't defeat it. You just become a perpetual victim. Let's talk about it. Jot down your comments. We'll catch you on the flip. As Don Cornelius used to always say, as in parting, I wish us love, peace, and what? So, we all the 5,000.